my name is Robbie Gill. I'm the CEO for the YMCA of the Chesapeake. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being here to celebrate uh, this really exciting event where we're getting to break ground conceptually because of the heat uh, uh, indoors, uh, which I'm sure we're all happy about. I stood over there for about 10 minutes this morning and then thought I was about to spontaneously combust. And so thanks to Kathy Willis in um, Queen Anne's County public schools we were able to access this space. So to get us started, we're going to have a fun treat. We've got our Camp Gunston campers that are here. They're going to lead a camp song for us. So let's give them a big hand. Now they're going to be like, we want a milkshake, which is what I want. We've got some um, special guests that are here that I want to recognize uh, quickly. Um, Secretary Rona Kramer is here. Thank you so much for coming all this way. <laughs> With um, Queen Anne's County Commissioners Jack Wilson, Steve Wilson, and the Queen Anne's County Commissioner President Chris Cuccarino. Delegate Steve Arntz. Steve's been a bit of part of this process as long as I've been trying to bring a Y to this community. Uh, with the Town Council, Jeff Keel. <laughs> Representing Senator Van Hollen's office, Melissa Kelly is here. And from Ben Cardin's office, uh, Kimberly Craddeville. We also have Jim Moran with the commission, to uh, county commissioners. Hey, Jim. Delegate Jay Jacobs. Senator Addie Eckert. Hey, Addie. And uh, Tim McCluskey, town councilman Tim McCluskey. Did I miss anybody? Mike Hewitt? Didn't make it. Okay, great. Uh, before we jump in, uh, I would like to ask Mendel Copeland, who serves on our corporate board, to say a prayer. Do 
dear God, we come to tell you that we thank you. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. And we thank you for this moment, this time that you allowed us today to come together for such an awesome occasion to be able to break the ground on another building that will be a light in the community to help families to come together, develop, to learn, to love. So God, I thank you for all the partners involved today. We thank you and we ask you, God, to keep us. It's your servant's prayer, we pray. Amen. So I was uh, thinking back, you know, this effort really goes back um, 16 years, so it's been a while. And anytime you're trying to con tackle something that is truly transformational for a community, it takes persistence and it takes patience and it takes faith. Uh, and it takes partnership, um, and it has to happen on God's time, right? And so this is really what this is about. When it was time to happen, um, that's how we got here today, and so I'm just grateful to celebrate this. I can tell you, um, you have these moments when you're working on a project and when you're working with volunteers where you're inspired and motivated to keep pushing forward. And I can think of one very specific. Uh, many years ago, before the county building, was built across the street, and the county rented the old um, space off course of all for meetings and for um, for staffing. There was a um, there was a meeting there, a workshop meeting to discuss the new county building, as well as a potential land donation to the YMCA. And I, I, it was really maybe my first indoctrination in county politics because. Uh, Initially, a lot of people didn't want the county building to be built. There were some kind of crazy comments around that, which is kind of interesting. But then when it got to the, the Y property, there was an older gentleman that stood up and he said, you know, I um, was born and raised in Centerville, and my son died in 1978. He drowned in the Corsica River. And he said, I don't know if he was pushed in or if he fell in, but I do know if there would have been a YMCA in this community, he would still be here today. And it's, to this day, is a rallying call. So those efforts from the volunteers and donors, partnerships with the county uh, and foundations to get us to this point, I'm just tremendously grateful, and I'm excited to see what the future has, because truly, we're creating something as a team and as a community. We'll serve this community for the next 100 years uh, and truly transform not only the lives of kids and families and adults, but also seniors and providing a place where our older adults can connect, give back, maintain their quality of life, uh, and really, um, you know, this is going to be, as I say, the front porch of the community. So thank you for this. Um, I'd like to call up Bessie Shays, who's our vice chair uh, for the corporate board for the YMCA of the Chesapeake, to say a few words. I'm looking around at all the kids who are here, and I'm thinking, you guys, listen up. The grown-ups in this room and in this community are doing this for you. Humans have gathered for groundbreaking ceremonies through the ages and across cultures to celebrate the art of constructing, creating, and raising up something worthy. And that's what you're doing here today. Last September, Kent County broke ground for their new YMCA. <clears throat> we stood on a sloping hillside. There was nothing to see except the power, purpose, and possibilities of what was to come. Last Thursday, 10 months later, Robbie and I visited the site. It was breathtaking, thrilling, awe-inspiring. Spaces that existed only in the shared vision and imagination of those who helped raise it up have come to life. And now, here you are. So let's celebrate the power, purpose, and possibilities of what has brought you to this day. The power of a good idea. 16 years ago, 2009, your community faced the shutdown of your only indoor pool. That triggered all of this, right, Robbie, if I remember? The county, Chesapeake College, and the Y came together to keep it open. One good idea led to another, 
and to let's get a Y up and running here. Land was donated, partnerships were nurtured, transformational gifts were given, leadership stepped up, step by step, the power of a good idea moved forward. Purpose has, as it always does, kept it moving forward to bring people together, to be the cement of a higher, sweeter, more caring humanity, serving the community through programs and services with heart and possibilities. <laughs> well, power and purpose has laid the foundation, and now imagine the possibilities. Kids who can literally walk across the street from this place to their new why. Families who will love coming here together. The impact of the Small Business Community Center and the Senior Center. The blessings that will take place because back in 2009, some of you here today trusted, collaborated, and dedicated yourselves to the power and purpose of an idea. Now, back to last Thursday's visit to the Kent County Y. Daryl Hagerman is the project manager. Is Daryl here? Ah, hello, my friend. Okay. He knows what it takes to raise up a building from the drawing board and told me, quote, sticking the gold shovel into the ground is the symbolic moment where we are saying this concept is becoming a reality. And the second thing he said, and I love this, he's been a veteran of many groundbreaking ceremonies. He calls this one, yours, a groundbreaking, groundbreaking. <laughs> wow, <laughs> puts you in a class all by yourselves. So with deep gratitude, heartfelt gratitude to all the dreamers, the doers, the partners, the funders, the leaders who caught the spirit, heart, and soul of this grand project. Your Y Chesapeake board says bravo. Power, purpose, possibilities. A groundbreaking, groundbreaking indeed. Thank you, Betsy. And in mentioning kids, also let's give a big hand to our American Heritage Girls and the Boy Scouts for being here today. Thank you so much. Uh, and, and just piggybacking on what Betsy said, let's, um, I want to thank KRM and Becker Morgan, who are our team building the Y and the Senior Center. And then maybe last mention, uh, Steve Tarver, who is the CEO of the YMCA of Greater Louisville, is here, which is, uh, I think he gets the, the award for the furthest traveled. He's an incredible Y leader. Let's give him a big hand. And then just an amazing woman, Beverly Johnson, who's a volunteer working to build a YMCA in St. Michael's, is here today to celebrate with us. Let's give her a hand. And I'd like to call up County Commissioner Chris Corcorino to say a few words. All right, Robbie, I was going to have the commissioners do a sing-along song, but the campers already did that. So we'll just skip to the next thing then. I know Stevie's upset. He wanted to do that. Um, I want to, first of all, thank everybody for showing up today. Um, thank you, Robbie, and the uh, YMCA of the Chesapeake, uh, all of the members, uh, the county staff, and all the elected leaders here. And particularly thank you to everybody um, who long ago made this happen. Uh, you can imagine on a hot day like today um, how important something like a swimming pool is and how that can spark something like this. I went to school here uh, at Queen Anne's County High School 30 years ago, uh, and I can only imagine what it would have been liked if we'd had a YMCA across the street for us to go to. So we, we hear a lot of times, Robbie, <clears throat> in this community where people think there's not enough things for, for kids to do. Uh, and today with the groundbreaking, we're going to change that. So I appreciate that. This has been a great partnership uh, with the county and with YMCA. 
um, and with the public. Um, the public donations that are making this happen are incredible. Uh, the partnership with the YMCA, uh, we, we see this continuing decades and decades in the future and serving the community. Uh, one of the other things that I'm particularly proud about is how we're also combining in this with the senior center. So we're not just taking care of the youth in Queen Anne's County, but the seniors in Queen Anne's County, and Kathy Willis is gonna speak some more on that. Uh, so I will defer to her on that. And again, thank you everybody for showing up. And Robbie, thank you, and YMCA of the Chesapeake. And Jim mentioned when I mentioned uh, Beverly Johnson, I said St. Michael. She's actually from St. Mary's County across the bridge. So just to clarify that. Um, I'd like to call up Kathy Willis, uh, who's just been a wonderful uh, teammate and partner to work with, who's the Queen Anne's County uh, Director of Community Services, to say a few words. Well, thank you, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, I am honored to be a part of, of this venture through the Department of Community Services Area Agency on Aging. Um, Forty years ago, in Queen Anne's County, this department became its own area agency on aging in the county government. Um, fitting following that, we had four senior centers at our peak of service in Centerville, Ken Island, Graysonville, and Southersville. Unfortunately, following the recession of 2011, the Centerville Senior Center closed officially through the State Board of Public Works. So we haven't had one. Uh, fitting today, 10 years later this month, we will have a new Centerville Senior Center, thanks to the YMCA. We average 200 participants daily in the senior centers. It is a form of great therapy and for social isolation in the community. And we all know after this past year how devastating that social isolation can be. So this is a very positive move forward for all of our residents, of which we have over 12,000 in Queen Anne's County over the age of 60. Now for the future, Services in this Y will include uh, chronic disease self-management programs such as enhanced fitness, Tai Chi, and diabetes self-management. We will also have exercise through the form of the gymna gymnasium as well as the aquatic center in the YMCA, which will be wonderful for our senior population as well as the schools. So I'm very excited as a, an alumni of this school and all of my children have been to this school. It's a very exciting effort all around. And we must look at this as a compliment to the county. We're never in competition. We like our partners. We like to join together to expand services for every resident in Queen Anne's County. It's essential that we work together. I am looking forward to this effort and completing this project through the help of the YMCA, the support of our Queen Anne's County Commissioners, and the support of one of my fearless leaders for many years at the Maryland Department of Aging now, Secretary Rona Kramer. We are working on our current um, state capital grant funding for this project, and we hope to have a successful venture and appreciate everyone's support. So now it is my privilege to introduce my leader at the state level, Secretary Rona Kramer. Good afternoon. It is lovely to be here, especially inside right now. I hadn't anticipated that, so I appreciate it that much more. First thing that I would like to share with you is that as of today, 92% of Maryland's population 65 and older have been vaccinated. That puts us in the top percentile within the top six states in the nation uh, for that population, but also for many of the others. So we're doing extremely well, and it's only because we had the assistance and the teamwork of working with Kathy Willis, 
at your Department of Aging, of the folks at your health department, and um, as a team, we've been able to do that, and it is spectacular. It gives us all the freedom to be here right now, standing in crowds, talking to each other this far apart, and uh, we wouldn't have that otherwise. Um, I don't have to tell you that our older adults uh, have experienced tremendous isolation throughout the pandemic. I don't know if you all know that isolation does as much damage to an older adult's health as smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. So, um, Having a new senior center, which will do many things, but most importantly, combat isolation, will not only was needed before the pandemic, but very much more so now. And uh, so co-locating um, with the YMCA adds to that. It improves the socialization. It's a great idea, and uh, we're very excited about the program here. It has been very successful elsewhere, where WISE have co-located with senior centers. And um, I have to tell you that um, my only concern with doing the program this way is that our seniors are going to embarrass those YMCA youngsters in the weight room. <laughs> And you know what? You just have to deal with that. I really want to thank uh, all of the elected officials, the donors, and the staff who have worked so hard for all these years to make this happen. You've been very wise. Um, I assure you that you will have my full support in obtaining a Department of Aging Capital Grant. I will work very hard with all of you and those of you in the legislature to make that happen. And I hope that you'll invite me back for a workout in the weight room, because I'm going to be part of that team to show you all off, and, um, and even a social event, maybe. So um, thank you very much for including me today. And on behalf of Governor Hogan, I thank you. Thank you so much, Secretary. Uh, each of our local YMCAs across the Eastern Shore have a local leadership council, and those volunteers are charged with making sure the local YMCA is meeting specific and local community needs. And we have a bunch of those folks here today. If you could raise your hand if you serve on that leadership council. Let's give them a big hand. And I'd like to call uh, Leslie Curion to come up. She's our chair for our leadership council to share a few words. Thank you, Robbie. I mean, a little shorter than Rock Robbie. Um, welcome, everyone, for being a part of this ceremony. On behalf of the Queen Anne's County Leadership Council, we would like to thank the First Council Advisory Board, the Y of the Chesapeake Corporate Board, for laying the groundwork for this project. Our current YMCA Leadership Council is equally committed to the mission and vision of the Y and has spent countless hours in trainings, meetings, and subcommittee work. We have also had a lot of fun while we're doing this. When I first learned the Y would be built in the field across the street, I gave it a name. I called it the Field of Dreams. If we build it, they will come. I was blessed to grow up with a Y in my community. I went through the Learn to Swim program, the day camp programs. The Y hired me as a camp counselor, a lifeguard, and a teen leader and volunteer, and even selected me to represent the Y in a year in Germany on a counselor exchange. I mentored teen through the Y Leaders Program and attended Y conferences in the Y Conference Center in North Carolina, where I met lifelong friends from around the country. Volleyball, a sport the Y invented, was my sport as a young adult. I was honored to keep score at the Y National Volley 
basketball tournament and got to see some amazing athletes. The Y taught me to give back and do something better than myself. It gave me a strong sense of purpose and the Y was truly my second home. Our facility will be beautiful and I hope you look at the drawings um, next to the window. Um, it will be beautiful and it will be the flagship of the Eastern Shore, but the Y is so much more than a building. It brings people together and makes community connections. It's the Y director mentoring his counselors in life and reconnecting years later to joke about their time together. It will enable a trainer to help someone achieve the best version of themselves. It will offer support programs that tackle scary topics like diabetes and Parkinson's. It will be the greeter who took the time to learn a senior's name and story. It will be the mentors who serve kids at risk by setting goals and helping them achieve them. It will be a place to learn new sports like pickleball. It will host training events and have meeting spaces available for the community. It will bring people together to promote a healthy spirit, mind, and body for all. The Y changed my life for the better, and I know it's gonna do so much more for our community. Thank you to the Queen Anne's County Commissioners, the donors, the Y professional and support staff for believing in this project in our community. Thank you. Before we get to the groundbreaking, which um, we're transitioning to pickaxes in here, since uh, I think, do we have any elected officials that'd like to say a few words? Anyone? Nope. Yes. Great. Uh, last thing I would say is, um, before we, uh, we've coordinated, we'd love to do some photos with the shovels and hats, and Jennifer will coordinate that. I'd like to mention that uh, this day will hold a special place for me too, because this is my eighth anniversary with Jennifer. So happy anniversary, Jen. <laughs> So we'll get a picture over there too. Um, and then the last thing I would say is the, the part I love about the why the most, and this is what you guys in your own way have helped to make happen, is it is a place for everybody. No one is turned away due to any financial limitation. It is a place where everyone is welcome, where the whole community comes together. And in a county like Queen Anne's, it is so large, and you have three distinct communities with the island in the center of the county in the north, the Y will create a space where everyone can come together. It's going to be a beautiful thing. So as that Y gets built, let's all celebrate together, and then we'll be together here again before you know it to celebrate the grand opening. So uh, again, thank you so much for making this possible. <laughs>